What is going on everybody? This is SW Motorsport, Chris here. Actually, today, well, not today, but a couple days ago, Reese got back from a little trip and uh, I drove his car after he got back. It's pretty gross. Um, as you guys can probably tell, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, he hit a freaking billion bucks. They're all over his windshield. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera or not. I can't really tell, but they're all over his windshield and I don't think his door is unlocked so I can't go in there and show you what it looks like from the inside. But uh, today we're gonna show you guys how to get all this off your windshield properly, of course, not like trying to smear it around and also how to get all this off your car as well because there is a ton, literally just a bunch of bugs all over here and uh, it's pretty gross. So we're gonna do some of that. We'll see you guys once we get back inside the shop. All right, now we got it pulled in here. Now look at the inside of this. How can you see anything? I mean, you can, but God, that's distracting. Look at that dodo who drove like this for like 12 hours. God, what an idiot. Anyway, we'll show you guys how to clean this off. All right, guys, first thing I'm gonna do is get your favorite glass cleaner. Well, in this case, you could use water too if you really wanted to. Soak your windshield and soak all the bugs and let it sit for a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. Not really sure how, but I got a bug smacked on b behind my windshield wipers. Just to show you. Continue to soak down all the bugs. Most importantly, don't forget your mirror pad. How neglectful and gross is this? called pre-soaking. It kind of loosens up contaminants. Except it just holds them off. It does not gonna all hose off, but that's the concept. Tangled. Okay. Once you let it soak for about a good three, four minutes, hit it again one more time. So in case some chemical did dry, it's wet again. Then you're gonna take your power washer or you can use a garden hose on a jet tip and just loosely knock everything off. Now the biggest reason we do this is because you really don't want a lot of this gunky gunky stuff on your mitt. It's not a big deal if it is, but what happen, ends up happening is it gets on your mitt, scratches your paint. Can't really, really scratch this, it's self-healing. However, still a possibility is we want to minimize those. Alright, As you guys can see, that is ceramic coated and how all the bugs came off. I like the wrap. Yeah. Ceramic coating does make a big impact. Not, not saying that it's going to be the same results depending on brain you get, but it gets the majority of the stuff away without even scrubbing it. We still have to scrub it. As you guys can already tell, many of the bugs are going back to normal life. Except for the one chip. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, next thing you're gonna do is hit your windshield again, except with car soap, and we're just gonna wash the windshield like you would wash a normal windshield.
if you soak your car down, it will smell like a swamp. Just so you know. Because and of all the bugs. It does smell like a swamp. This this car hasn't been that badly attacked this time around, but I've had one instance before where I spread it, it smells straight like a swamp. And now you do your final room stuff. Boom. Swamp free. Swamp free, my friends. Look at that, look at that, just boom, it looks good. Of course, when it's dry, it'll be completely clear. Well guys, that's how to take bugs off your car and make your car not swampy smelling with SWA. Let us know in the comments below if this helped you. And also, don't forget to drop that subscribe on the subscribe button over there and the bell notifications over there as well. And also don't forget that like button as well, if you guys like this. And we shall see you guys next time on some more SW Motorsports. Bye. What was that? Oh, okay, bye.